Okay, family, today is Tuesday. I think it's the 28th. I don't know. I think it's the 28th. I got to pay my gas bill, y'all. Um. So, yeah. So, today I think it's the 28th. Um. Anyway, I came on this morning. I've just gotten off the kids to school. And I came on right quick. Because, guys, I had a dream last night. I had a dream that really, really, really freaked my ass out. I mean, I was I was on some ready to tear some shit up, like seriously, you know. Um, y'all, I had this dream that um, we were at our old house in Compton, and I think it was like a repass or something for my mama, and. Um, me, Ken, my auntie, my uncle, all my old cousins and old friends, all from the neighborhood. Everybody was just eating and partying and kicking it. You know, it was like, it was a repass. And um, I was talking to my aunt, me and my aunt were sitting together and we was eating. And so I got up and I said, auntie, have you seen Ken? So she was like, no, I ain't seen Ken in a while. She said, have you seen you know, this, I'm not going to get a name because I don't know who all watches this. But, and so I was like, no, I haven't seen her either. And so um, she was like, hmm, I wonder where she went. I said, I don't know. Y'all, I went back. I, so I said, okay, let me go try to find him. I go, I'm walking through the house, you know, and somebody was like in the front bathroom. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go to the back bathroom. And in our old house... Um, it was a two-story house, but in the back, um, in the back, uh, right past the kitchen, there was another bedroom and another bathroom back there, and that was my room. As I began to get a little bit older, my dad put me, you know, gave that room to me, and, you know, after all my siblings and stuff had moved out. Well, anyway, I go back there to my old room, I open up my door, why I walk in on Ken having sex with one of my distant, distant, distant relatives. Y'all, oh my God. I mean, I just literally, I lost it. I mean, I just completely lost it. And it was so graphic because, you know, he, in lack of a better word, he had that ass bent over. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, oh, my, and I walked in on this, you know what I'm saying? And I just politely backed up. I went out the back door, because right out the kitchen was the back door. I went out the back door, got me a rock. Baby, I went in there. And this is definitely a dream, because I'm not, I'm not this chick, you know what I mean? And see... You know, a lot of times we as women go after the woman, but when, in essence, you need to be going after the man. And I went after her ass, and I just completely lost it. I tweaked. And I'm talking about, you talking about beat the hell out of somebody? Oh, my God, I beat the hell out of her. And I was whooping both of, both of their asses, though, really. But, you know, I was beating her so, whereas... Uh, she had got unconscious, she had, and she had lost consciousness, and she was bleeding all in her face, and her head, and shit, and, I mean, it was bad, I mean, I literally beat her down, and my aunt was like, Tina, you know, no, stop it, you know, and they were like, trying to get her together, you know, because, of course, they was gonna have to call the paramedics or take her to the hospital, and it was like, well, we'll take her down in the Dominguez Hospital, so I was like, okay, you know, and um, they were trying to clean her up because it was like, well, anytime we take her down there, they're going to want to know what happened. And they're going to come and get Tina because she the one got that ass, you know. So um, then, and I'm hitting him too. I mean, I'm tagging him. I'm tagging him. And But by him being a man, of course, you know, he was trying to hold my arms down and trying to, you know, push me out of the way. You know what I mean? He wouldn't hit me. He was trying to, you know, grab me and grab the weapon out of my hand and stuff. Y'all, then, after I'm getting myself together, excuse me, after I'm trying to get myself together, he's standing across the street. And so, he's across the street talking to my uncle. So, and 
I looked across the street, and I'm like, you know, because I was already telling him, you know, leave. Get the hell away from here. Don't come back over here. I don't want to see you, this, that, and the other. Y'all, I come out of the house here. He's standing across the street talking to my uncle. So, and I just went over there. I had picked up like a two by, like a piece of a two by four, like something like, something like a bat type of thing. I went across there and I'm just wailing on his ass. I mean, I'm just, I'm taking it to him, y'all. When I woke up, it was about seven, right at seven o'clock. And I said, oh, my God, because mind you now, Tony had stayed the night at my house, so I had stayed at Ken's last night. And Ken had to be to work at four this morning, so he was already gone. So I said, oh, shit, you know, because, you know, I make it a point to try to be back at my house before my kids wake up. And so, see, my son has to be to school at um, 730, so I just made it to get them up so they didn't know that I was even gone. But y'all, when I woke up this morning, I woke up in a sweat. I woke up real clammy feeling. My hands were so sore. You know, whereas I guess I had my fist balled up in my sleep. And I just felt like I was in a serious fight. I mean, my body felt labored. I mean, like seriously. You know, and I ain't no... Uh, you know, I ain't in all that Johnny Conqueroo and Three-Headed Lady and all that kind of shit. I ain't back there off of Bourbon Street and none of that. But, you know, I came home and I got my mama's old dream books. This is one of my mama's old dream books that she used to keep at the beauty shop. And the ladies used to go through it and stuff. But this was one that I just kept. And um, my mom used to always say that your dreams mean something. So, I'm asking you guys, you guys denote that, that dream for me and tell me what that means. Because, after reading this, I'm not liking what I read. You know what I'm saying? It's like an omen. Like, you know, it's telling me there's something, you know, I guess something is, is unfavorable. But I want you guys to tell me, what does that dream mean? Because, you know, I mean, here this, 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 this cousin, I haven't seen her in like, Oh, my God, like forever. You know what I mean? And, you know, and she just, I, it was just bad. It was bad. It was bad, y'all. It was bad. It was bad. It was graphic and everything. And I was like, oh, my God, what is this dream trying to tell me? You know? So I need you guys to sound off on this one for me and let me know what this is. What's going on with me, y'all? I mean, what's going on with your girl? <laughs> anyway, please respond to this and let me know what this shit means. Like, seriously. Like, right now, right now. All right, family. Deuces. I love you. Bye.